Hi, this is Raven Blair Davis, and I've teamed up with Michael Sinoff's HardToFindSeminars.com. Les, as I share with you, career is about helping people wake up and realize that they have to take charge of their life. They can't wait until they get that pink slip or until that job makes them so sick they can't go in. They have to start having a plan B. Wouldn't you agree? Well, they can wait. They can be a volunteer victim or they can choose to step up and take charge of their own destiny. Because when you begin to look at it, this is the age of what Ralph Waldo Emerson called the age of self-reliance. All of us know that there's no such thing as job security. And that the 40-40 plan is going where you can work for 40 years, 40 hours a week, doing the same thing and expect to retire on 40%, which wasn't enough in the first place. Okay. So what I'd like to share with people, three very important steps that will, one, help them to make the decision if they have not, or two, take their business to the next level if they've already made the decision. Well, there's three steps that's very important. Number one is what you first did, mindset maintenance. Listening to motivational messages on a daily basis, it, what it does is it begins to retrain your thinking that how people live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves. Now, remember this. How they live their lives is a result of the story they believe about themselves. And so when you begin to listen to motivational messages on a regular basis, what it does is overpowers the story in your mind and stretch your mind, challenges your thinking, and eventually it goes from your mind to your heart to your spirit and you start acting on what you hear. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. And so the reason that most people don't operate from their faith as opposed to their fears is because they don't feed their minds enough with things that can strengthen their faith and then cause their fears to starve to death. Taking the time to invest in your mind is so very, very important. Having a schedule that you put yourself on. Still to this day, I listen to motivational messages every day. And I suggest to people take 30 minutes to listen to a motivational message when you first get up in the morning after you spiritualize your thoughts with scripture or whatever you read to help to empower yourself on a spiritual level and your meditation and prayers. Then review the goals that you'd like to achieve and listen to positive messages for at least 30 minutes because whatever you hear the first 20 minutes when you get up in the morning, it will affect the spirit of your day. Do not wake up and have the news playing and don't play the news while you asleep at night because all that stuff goes right straight to the subconscious mind. Next thing is make it doable. Read 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day. Just make it simple. 10 to 15 pages. If you just do that, 10 to 15 pages of something positive every day, seven days a week, just like you brush your teeth, or you should, seven days a week, this is mindset maintenance and it will cause you to operate at a higher level. Now when I first heard this, I said, yeah, right. Here's somebody saying that all of us are just six inches from success. Well, that was challenging to me because I was labeled educable, mentally retarded when I was in the fifth grade, as you know, and put back from the fifth grade to the fourth grade and failed again when I was in the eighth grade. I have no college training, but I remember hearing a speech once that they did a study to find top achievers around the world, and they wanted to know what was the common denominator among them that enabled them to reach their goals. And here's what they discovered, that 85% of them reached their goals because of their attitude, 15% because of their aptitude. Now, that excited me. So I spent time working on my mindset, on my attitude. Oliver Wendell Holmes says that once a man's mind or woman has been expanded with an idea, concept, or experience, it can never be satisfied to going back to where it was. And when I heard the words that, you don't get in life what you want, you get in life what you are. As a man thinking in his heart, so is he. I took that seriously, and I spent a lot of time and a lot of money on my mind. I suggested people start a personal development library. If anybody told me that that would lead me from earning $10 an hour to earning now, when I speak domestically, $25,000 an hour or well, $55,000 internationally, and I don't say this to impress people, but to impress upon you, judge a tree by the fruit it bears. This works if you work it. The next thing that is very important is look at your relationships and ask the question, what are my relationships doing to me? MIT did a study, and the study indicated that we earn within two to $3,000 of our closest friends. People rub off on you. Dr. Dennis Kimbrough said, 
If you're the smartest one in your group, you need to get a new group. Because there are two types of relationships in life. There are nourishing relationships and there are toxic relationships. Nourishing relationships, they empower you. They bring the best out of you. They challenge you. They hold you accountable. They stretch you. I have a mentor, Mike Williams. He's been a major force in my life. So you can't see the picture when you're in the frame. And so you have to have people around you that are smarter than you, that will tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. So your relationships are very important. You want to upgrade your relationships and make sure these are people that challenge you and help you to grow mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. The other thing, and this is major, put your money where your mouth is. Because communicators, you look at the presidential election, speech matters, message matters. I never forget Mr. Washington who challenged me. He said, young man, go to a board and work this problem out for me. And I said, I can't do that, sir. And he says, why not? I said, I'm not one of your students. He says, do what I'm asking you to do anyhow. I said, I can't do that, sir. And he says, why? I said, sir, because I'm educable, mentally retarded. If the other students laugh, they call me DT, the dumb twin. And he said, don't ever say that again. He said, someone's opinion of you does not have to become your reality. And he told me the value. He said, Mr. Brown, develop your mind and develop your communication skills. Because once you open your mouth, you tell the world who you are. He was absolutely right. If you are an entrepreneur, people hear you. I see people pass out their business cards. They spend a lot of money on business cards and stationery. And no money on developing their communication skills. You pass out a business card or you have impressive stationery or very expensive brochure, all of that sets up the process of communication. People don't do business with you because of your brochure or business card. They do it because of how you communicate. Is there a connection? Can I trust this person? Are they credible? Can I believe in them? Your ability to communicate helps you to develop relationships and empower you to negotiate. It is very important in the negotiation process. And most people, they neglect that, which blows my mind. I've earned over $55 million because I took that seriously. It's really major. Hi, it's Michael Sinoff with HardToFindSeminars.com. Thanks for watching this video. You know, many of my interviews last 30 minutes, 40 minutes, an hour, sometimes even up to two and a half hours long. They're actual mini seminars, and you've just listened to a short sample of just one of over 117 hours of exciting, hard-hitting, mind-blowing interviews on how to make money in direct mail, advertising, copywriting. I assure you, there is not a resource anywhere on the internet or on the planet that comes close to the free information I provide at hardtofindseminars.com. So go right now to hardtofindseminars.com and you'll have free access to 117 hours of audio interviews with typed word-for-word -word downloadable transcripts and downloadable MP3 files. Please browse some more of the videos or go right directly to hardtofindseminars.com. Thanks for watching.